We're continuing to follow up on the wildfire scene across the state. I'm Fox 13 News reporter Julia Sandor and researchers at the University of Utah are taking a deeper look at the wildfire season across the country in 2020 to see how these wildfires could impact air quality. You see this kind of really thick kind of grayish grayish kind of thi film. This is actually not clouds, but this is just smoke coming up from California blowing into Utah. Derek Malia is a research professor in the Department of Atmospheric Science. His research at the University of Utah shows how smoke from the West wildfires substantially increases the ozone concentrations, even above federal health standards. Ozone, a secondary pollutant of wildfires, can be harmful to the public. Even if we zero out all of our emissions with ozone, we'll actually still have quite a bit of ozone just from wildfire smoke. Just looking at this satellite map, we can see the smoke from some wildfires right here in Utah. Here's the Monroe fire and it's pretty small right now. It's definitely been not burning as hot. You know, conditions have been a little bit cooler. So the fire conditions have been pretty, been a lot less severe. And this is also the Dragon Bravo fire. This is the big fire down in in the Grand Canyon. Malia says they looked back on the year 2020 because of the West's record setting smoke. One of those impactful fires was the 90,000 acre East Fork fire here in Utah. If there's areas like California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, if they're having fires, we will also get that smoke as it's being transported kind of downwind to those regions. So we don't need to just have a big fire season in Utah to get smoke. It could be really any of the states across the western U.S. In the future, Malia says he hopes they're able to improve models to better predict air quality and better protect public health during wildfire season. In Salt Lake City, Julia Sandor, Fox 13 News, Utah.